Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe, and sorry about me being a little scrubbier today. I uh, I just got back from going to the drugstore and hauling a few items, and it's like been all dark and stormy outside, and there's like cicadas, so if you hear the buzzing, if you hear like things outside, I hear an airplane going overhead, and dogs barking, and my hair's up in a bun, and I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. But I just wanted to share this drugstore haul with you really quickly because I just got it. So to start off, I will talk about this CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. This is originally kind of pricey. I mean, it's only one fluid ounce. I picked this up mainly because it was already on sale for $11, down from I think about $14. And then I had a coupon printout on my CVS Extra Buck. I got a $5 off CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation coupon, and that was a really great deal, so this ended up only being $6 for me. So I thought, why the heck not? I'll try it out. I was interested in kind of trying it out anyway. So I picked this up in color 325 Sandstone. Now if you look at their color chart, I feel like it's super misleading. Like this was not in a category that I would have chosen. If possible, I would look up swatches online or reviews um, because I think it's it's really inaccurate, especially if you have really yellow toned skin like I do. So like I said, this is, oh, thunder. CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation in number 325 Sandstone. Hopefully that will work out okay. And then for face, I also picked up this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Face Powder. And the reason I picked this one up is because during the summertime, I've been doing a lot of like just concealer with powder over it and just skipping foundations all together because it's been so hot and nasty outside. So I wanted to see if this would work out okay. I have bought a Physician's Formula blush in the past and I really, really liked this really like soft smooth airbrushed look that it gave me. So I figured I would try this out. If I keep staring over there, that's because there's a big wasp right outside because I'm sitting in front of a window. Anyway, this has SPF 16 and what really drew me to it is the packaging. Another packaging of the same product said that it's specifically for people who are prone to breakouts and have really sensitive skin, which ding, 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 that is me. So hopefully that will work out. I picked that up in the color beige. And then another face thing that I picked up is this one. This is Maybelline's Mineral Power Concealer. I picked it up in the color cream. It only came in three colors and the other ones were ivory and light, both of which I don't think uh, I would match. So I picked up the darkest shade available at my CVS. And um, this was actually recommended by a lot of you guys when I you know, put on my blog, like, do you guys have any recommendations for um, like drugstore products? I have pretty good hopes for it. I'm a little bit nervous about putting that on like zits and stuff, but maybe it'll work really well for under eyes. I will try it for both and let you guys know what I think. Um, another face thing that I picked up is this L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. It's a foundation primer and um, honestly, I don't usually use foundation primer, but like every time I go to the drugstore, I'll like grab it and kind of like stare at it and want it think about buying it and then I'll just look at the price and put it back because it's, I, I want to say it's like $13 and it's only 0.5 fluid ounces so it's not a lot of product and the price is definitely creeping upon the pricing of department store products but like I said I've just been wanting to try it for so long and I've heard good things about it so I wanted to try it for myself. I'm gonna maybe try these products in combination and let you know how it goes. And then moving on to eye products, I picked up this shadow duo by L'Oreal Hip and it is in number 510 Electrified. This was a product that was, I think, limited edition for the hip line like a couple years ago and people went crazy for it, um, mainly because it has this really amazing taupe color right there that's shimmery taupe and then this is like a dark purple. And it was limited edition so it went away and then it came back in the permanent line. And so ever since then, I've really been wanting to try it just, you know, cause if there's a lot of hype about it, you kind of want to know why. So I have high hopes for this duo. I've seen swatches and it looks really pretty. So yeah, I also picked this up. I think this was like eight something. 
$8.50. I also picked up this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm a pretty big fan of other CoverGirl mascaras, mainly because my favorite mascara back in the day was by Max Factor. And Max Factor and CoverGirl are the same parent company, and unfortunately Max Factor products were phased out of the US because they weren't selling as well. So, um, I hopped over to the CoverGirl side because a lot of the products really seemed like they were the same. So I thought I would try out this Lash Blast Volume. Of course in the waterproof formula. I do use the regular Lash Blast waterproof formula on my makeup clients. So I thought I would try out the volume formula and see if it is any more volumizing, I guess. Oh, thunder. So another couple of products that I have really been wanting to try from drugstores is some eyeliners. Um, I've heard such good things about both these products, this being the Milani Liquify Pencil. I've heard that people said that this is just as good if not better than the high-end cream to permanent eyeliners like my favorite Urban Decay 24-7 pencils and I had not tried the Milani version because last time I went they were all sold out. Um, I've seen swatches of it and it seems super 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 black and very like waterproof. So I'm excited to try this and I'm also excited to try this Wet n Wild Mega Eyes Cream Eyeliner and this is just in the black color. I've heard people compare this cream liner to MAC Fluid Line and say that they like it just as much if not more which obviously that really intrigues me because MAC fluid line is my go-to cream liner like I've tried a few other cream liners and I just always go back to MAC fluid line so I'm I'm interested to see if this definitely like lives up to other people's reviews on it I will say the packaging if you can see in there kind of looks like a little orb and I think that's kind of wasteful. There's a lot of plastic around the actual part containing the product, but you know, it, it was like $3. Compare that to Fluid Line, which is like $14 or $15, and other cream liners can be up to like $20. So I say, I'd say it's a pretty darn good deal, and I can forgive bad packaging if the product inside works just as well. I have heard people complain that it's a little bit drier because the packaging just doesn't close as tight as on a glass bottle. So I will have to open it up and see if it has that same problem. I'm a big eyeliner person, so I feel like they're really important. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up from CVS is this triple sharpener. Because I am really forgetful <laughs> and I always seem to lose my eyeliner sharpeners. Not to mention a couple of the products like my NYX Jumbo Pencils. Whenever I need to find a Jumbo Sharpener, I just cannot find one. So I picked up an extra of these. This is a triple sharpener, which there's the two different sharpeners there. But then this one has a ring around it, which you can pop out and fit a larger pencil as well. So I thought that was kind of intriguing. I will, I guess, let you know if it works well. So my CVS is actually located right across the street from a Walgreens. So I went to CVS first and picked up those items and then popped over to Walgreens to see if I could find like a good blush or eyeshadow or something like that. I got gummy worms because obviously they make for a really great eyeshadow. I just like eating. Okay, so for real, what I picked up from Walgreens are these two items from Wet n Wild. This is the Comfort Zone palette, which I have been so wanting to get for the longest time. If you recognize this color down here, it is the exact same color as I used in my Night Elf palette, Wet n Wild shadow palette tutorial. So I could actually recreate that look using this palette, which I believe these are permanent. They're not limited edition. So if you watched my tutorial, which I'll put an annotation to over here, if you watched that tutorial and had a really difficult time finding that color, you could either go to MAC and buy MAC Club eyeshadow, which that would be like $14.5, or you could pick up this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, which has lots of colors in it. It was only $4.99. This whole palette was $5. Okay, so here are my swatches of the palette. Every shadow was like super creamy. Can you see how cool why I'm so obsessed with this color right here? Yeah, 
love that flash. This one is gorgeous too. And then that's a really good brow bone highlight color. And then this color right here has a bit of shimmer to it. And it's so dark. Literally, these are super, super duper buttery. Just swatching them on my arm with no primer or anything. Uh, the one that was hardest to swatch is actually that green flash one. But I had no problems bringing it up to pigmentation level. It's just that the others are super soft and buttery. Um, I can tell already that they do have a bit of fallout because they're so soft. But the colors are really gorgeous and I can't wait to do some eyeshadow looks with it. So the last item I picked up is also from Wet n Wild. I was attracted to it just because the name was called Pearlescent Pink. So it comes like this with a really weird angled brush. I probably won't use that. <laughs> it looks actually quite pigmented. Nice pink color. Very powdery. I am really, really liking this blush. There's, uh, it's a basic pink color, but there is just a little bit of a, a nice shimmer to it. I don't know if that shows up on the camera. Maybe I'll just try out some of my other things. Try the Physician's Formula Powder. I didn't actually put any foundation or powder on my face, so. Just off the bat, I will say that it's a lot like the blush that I have, in that I feel like it's kind of a packaging fail. Right here, that's where the powder is. They have a mirror, which might be helpful to some people, and a brush down here, but it's that much extra packaging space that is basically there for no reason. The color, I'm nervous, it might be a little light for me. It looked darker in the packaging in the store. We'll see if it matches. I think the other like medium-ish shade tone was very pink. It was like the melange was kind of like a pink and tan and I didn't know if that would match my skin very well, so. I'm actually really impressed by this. <laughs> it is very powdery, but it doesn't look cakey like at all. It kind of looks really airbrushed, actually, like really natural, like I'm not wearing any makeup. Even looking at it really up close in a mirror, it looks like I'm not wearing powder. Hmm. I'll have to use that a few more times to really see if it's like as excellent over the course of the day as it is right now, but first impression, really good. Color match is fine. I guess that's it. Hopefully this wasn't too scattered and weird. It's just... I got really excited about getting stuff and then I wanted to go back and show you. So I think I'll probably be um, doing a tutorial of drugstore makeup soon. Although I've had a lot of tutorials using drugstore products, I haven't had one where I used entirely drugstore products. So you can look forward to that. And I guess that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe up there and like down below. This is Jen and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.